Hi everyone, it's Carol here. Uh, thanks for coming by my channel today. I have prepared a, a yin practice to open and relax the shoulders. I actually received a request online for this practice and I'm really happy to fulfill it. Uh, keep the requests coming. I love hearing from you guys. Um, it really helps me to know what you're looking for and give me some ideas of things to um, to sequence for you. So to begin today, I want to start by relaxing the shoulders. You will need a couple blocks for this practice. So if you uh, want, you can uh, pause the video, go get them. If you don't have blocks, I would use um, maybe some pillows, some stiff pillows or a couple of books that um, fit the um, this size. You can pause the video, come back for that. Practice is a yin practice to open the shoulders. I'd like to begin by relaxing the shoulders, the front of the body. So, we're going to come onto our backs. All the way down. Relax your spine down onto the back. And we're going to move into a supported bridge pose. So you can take your block press into your feet and slide the block underneath your hips so that it's at the back of your sacrum. Right on the bony part. I don't really want it on any of your vertebrae. I want you to be fully, feel fully supported by the block on your, the back of you, the bony part of your pelvis. You can keep it on the lowest. You can move it up higher. You could take your two blocks and stack them if you like. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Or you can move it to the highest. Your head and your shoulders should be relaxing down onto the mat. If that's not comfortable for you, you can take a pillow or fold a blanket put it underneath your shoulders, the back of your head. And I'm going to give you some options. You can stay just like this if the soles of the feet on the mat. It might be nice to bring the feet to the width of the mat and knock your knees inwards. Keep your arms relaxing down by your sides with the palms facing up. If you want, you can bring your arms up overhead, extend them long, or just catch opposite elbows, making a frame above your face. You can also draw your feet together, let the knees fall apart. Or finally, you can extend your legs along, really opening up across the front of the body. This is a great pose to begin the practice. Take the first few moments in this pose, connect with your breath. Let your mind catch up with your body, come to the mat. Very great pose to be in because you can feel your breath moving across the front of your body. A lot of the times our shoulders are sore. We have pain in the shoulders, the neck, or the upper back because we are feeling tension and we're, we're holding ourselves tight and tense. Maybe that's because of stress, anxiety. It's definitely a protective, a self-protective action. Squeezing the arms in tight, hunching the shoulders. Drawing ourselves forward over the chest, protecting the heart. Or it could be because it's January and it's cold outside and we've been shivering a lot. And we feel a lot of tension in the upper body from that. Either way, relax now.
come out of this pose, draw your arms back next to your sides if you can move them. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat, hip widths apart. Press into the feet and just set the blocks aside. Slowly lower your spine down onto the mat. Take one block this time and can just roll to one side or the other, come up onto your elbow and take that block and bring it to the middle of your back. Lower than your shoulder blades, should be up and down. And we're just gonna roll onto that. So that the block is right underneath your rib cage. If it's uncomfortable to have it up and down, be more comfortable for you to have it sideways, that's fine. Just want it to be right across the mid region of your spine, right underneath the rib cage. So um, if you're a woman, it would be just below your bra strap. Might have to fiddle with the block a little bit to get it in exactly the spot where you want. And again, you can choose the orientation of your arms, your legs, your knees can be knocked in. <clears throat> your knees can be knocked in. You can have your feet together, knees wide apart. Extend the legs long. Arms could be at your sides or up overhead. Just opening up the front of the body. Might feel kind of vulnerable at this position with the heart forward. And surrender into that. Let yourself relax. Out of this pose, draw the soles of your feet to the mat, your arms down at your sides. This time, press into your elbow, elbows, your upper arms. Bring yourselves up to seat. And we're going to use the block one more time. This time, I'll turn so you can see. Bring it down between your shoulder blades. So it should be up high between the shoulder blades, beneath the biggest knob of your neck. So you don't want it on your cervical vertebrae but right down between the shoulder blades and again you might have to fiddle with it as you come down 
Let's sit there a little tip a few times. Find your spot. This time I'm going to take butterfly with my soles and my feet together, the knees falling apart. But you can choose what you like, feet apart, knees together, or extension. Again, hands can stay at the, at the sides or extend them overhead or catch opposite elbow. If this is too intense for your, um, for your neck and your head, Feel free to get a, another block or a um, pillow, just put it underneath your head. You can really just try and relax into this. I know it can feel kind of intense. Try and let the shoulder blades just relax, wrap around the block. The upper back becomes very heavy. And you're ready to come out of this pose. Draw your arms back to your sides. Move nice and slowly. Draw your soles of your feet to the mat. And just roll to one side or the other. Slip the block out of your back. Out from underneath your back. And bring your whole spine down onto the mat. I get to wriggle around. Wrap your shoulders, let your shoulders relax. Extend the legs long, like a little mini savasana. I'm not heading right into savasana now, but I want you to feel the whole length of your spine down on the mat. After we lengthen and stretch the spine using the blocks. the soles of your feet to the mat. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little hug. And then bringing the arms out at 90 degree angle from your shoulders. Just let both knees fall over to the right. Oh, gotta move my blocks out of the way. 
Now here, I want you to keep, if you want to use your blocks here, if you want to pop them underneath your knees, go ahead and do that. I want you to be completely comfortable here. So you're lying on that right hip, but the collarbones are still pointing up towards the sky. Take a nice stretch through the left side body. If you want to increase that stretch, draw your left hand up to the far corner of your, towards the far corner and past it, but of your mat. So more like you're making a, a Y with your arms and a T. The right hand can stay where it is, or you can draw it to the outside of the left leg. And looking for relaxation here in the upper body, the chest, the shoulders, allowing the weight of the upper body to keep that left shoulder blade down on the mat. This is for sure a feel-good pose. Come out of this pose. Bring your left arm back down to your side, your right arm down to your side. Nice big breath in. Exhale to draw the knees back up to the center. Let your spine come fully down onto the mat. And then when you're ready, you can draw your knees into your chest once again. And let them fall over to the left. And use a block on your knees if they don't come all the way to the mat. Remember, we want to keep our left, our right shoulder blade down onto the mat. Left hand can stay extended, or you can bring it to the outside of your right knee. And 
left hand can stay extended or you can draw it up at a 45 degree angle. Keeping that shoulder blade, the upper body very heavy. Come out of this pose, take your time. Start by bringing your arms down to your sides. Nice big breath in. And then exhale to draw the knees back up to the center. And the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Just feel your spine on the mat again. Just feel how it feels. Hopefully it's nice and relaxed at this point. Now for our next set of poses, we're gonna flip over onto our tummies and just pull it right over. Get nice and comfortable here. I'm going to do a shoulder roll over. So we begin by bringing your right hand out 90 degrees from your shoulder and then turn that palm facing up towards the ceiling. And bring your left hand in underneath your left shoulder and press into that left palm to stack the left shoulder over the right. You can stay here just like this with your left hand in front of your chest. 
supporting you. And keep your head here. If this is uncomfortable for your head, go ahead and grab a block. You can rest your head on it. Or if you like, you can let your head fall and get a little extra opening through the neck muscles here. If you want to take this a little bit further, you can bend the left knee and plant that foot behind your right leg. And take the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Face the palm in the same direction as your back. From here, you can stay just like this, or you can let that left hand drop down towards your right hand. See if the palms meet. Try not to force that moving. From here, you might find that the back of your pelvis comes um, closer to the mat. You can even bend the right knee. We won't stay in this pose as long. It is a really deep opener. Definitely take it only as far as you can hold it comfortably with a nice even breathing. Without stressing yourself, without feeling any anxiety or um, any, any real big need to come out of it. So if that means coming back a little bit, extending the legs, Bringing the left hand back in front, please do that. As long as you're feeling the stretch and the opening, that's all you need. We'll take five more breaths here. Come out of this pose, draw your left hand back up, bring it back to the mat if you have moved it. Begin to roll your hips back down onto the mat. Your shoulders move very slowly because this is definitely a deep opener. You come back down onto your front. And draw the elbows underneath the shoulders and then a little bit further forward. Turn your tailbone down so you have length in the spine. Take the right hand and walk it underneath your left armpit. Palms facing down and just keep walking it as far as it'll go. Then at the same time, I want you to take the left hand and walk it as far forward as you can go. So the arms are crossed just beneath your chin. You can actually maybe rest your chin on your upper arm or your left hand. You should be getting a nice opening in the back of the right shoulder. Again, if this is a little more intense and you like, you could take the um, a block and put it underneath your forehead so you're not getting as much weight on, that, on those upper arms.
Adam's pose. Press into your forearms, your palms. Slowly walk your elbows back to the right side. Lower your chest back down to the mat. Extend both arms long. Turn the palm of your left hand up. And draw the right palm in underneath your shoulder. And we'll roll over to the left. So press into that right palm. Roll the right shoulder up over the left. And you might need to prop your head, maybe not. You can stay just like this. Bend the right knee, draw the leg and the foot in behind your left leg. If this feels good, if you're feeling the opening, stay just like this. If you want some more sensation, draw the right hand up. Turn the palm in the same direction as your back. Let that right hand fall. Please don't force it to meet the left hand. Just let it fall. Maybe it'll only come part way. You could hold a block between your hands here too. If you want to let that right hand fall, but it doesn't make all the way down. And draw the sole of the left foot to the mat. Or leave that leg extended long, if that's what I'm going to do. Let your head drop heavy here. Don't strain your neck. Prop up your head if that's a problem. And this is a very deep stretch. So try as we're in it to really focus on the sensation that you might be feeling. Commit to the pose that you're in once you've found your own variation. Find stillness. And I know it's intense, but don't turn away from the intensity. Stay with it. When you're ready to come out of this pose, move very slowly. Bring the right hand up and over, supporting yourself as you roll your hips, your chest back down onto the mat. Take a moment here, even yourself out. And then draw your elbows underneath your shoulders. And then maybe a little further forward, turn the tailbone down so the low back is supported. And this time we'll draw the left hand in underneath the right armpit. Keep crawling those fingertips forward as you take the right hand over to the left. Keep crawling until you come as far as you can. 
to rest your chin on your upper arm or your head, forehead on a block. Feel this beautiful opening in the back of the right shoulder, back of the left shoulder, the upper back. Slowly gliding the shoulder blades away from the spine. Come out of this pose and very slowly, once again, and slowly draw your shoulders, your elbows back over to their proper side. You can stack one palm above the other, rest your forehead for a moment here. Grab the other pose. 
Just feel the rebound effect from those poses that we were just in. And then when you're ready to continue moving, draw your hands underneath your shoulders and press up to tabletop. We're going to make our way now into a child's pose, pose, sort of a modified child's pose with the knees wide and the big toes together. Uh, even if you normally take your child's pose with the um, knees hip width apart, this time try bringing your knees to the width of the mat, the big toes together. And take your blocks and bring them shoulder width at the front of the mat. Slide your hands on top of the blocks. Now they can be at the lower height or the higher height, um, whatever, whatever you like. I want to try getting into it first. Slide your hips back over your heels. Let your forehead drop down towards the mat. Press into the palms, slide your hips back a little bit further. Let your palms relax now onto the blocks. Again, you can bring them up a little bit higher. You have the mobility for that. If you don't have any blocks, use some books. Try and really let your um, upper body, your chest melt towards the mat. Let the spine get long. The breath move across your back body. And your shoulders release as you melt your upper body down to the mat.
to come out of this pose. Bring your hands down to the mat. Press into your palms. Come back to tabletop. And set your blocks aside. And make your way to your seat. Nice and comfortable here. Soles of the feet are on the mat. And your palms behind you. Just slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Feel your whole spine coming down onto the mat. Curl your shoulder blades under just a little bit. Your hands rest on either side of you with the palms facing up. And extend your heels down to the far corners of the mat. Savasana. A chance here for you to fully relax. Feel of any tension that might be left in your body. Allow it to release. Feel the softness, the suppleness in the upper body, the chest, the neck, the shoulders, the upper back. Feel very heavy now. Yourself melt into the mat. We'll stay here in Savasana for the next few minutes. We'll come out of it together. Ready to come out of Sarasana. Begin by deepening your breath. Nice full inhale, filling the whole body with air. And then a long, slow, controlled exhale. And 
another big inhale. Waking up the muscles and the core of the body. Exhale, fully and completely. Draw your attention now to your fingers and your toes. Give them a little wiggle, draw circulation back to your extremities. Move the wrists and the ankles and begin to make movements up through the limbs towards your body. Working it all the way into a big full body stretch. And then exhaling, drawing the knees back into the chest. Rolling to one side or the other, whichever way feels good and comfortable for you. And you take a few moments here in Savasana. Take a few moments here in the fetal position before you rise up to seated. Remembering when you do, keep your head, your neck, and your shoulders very relaxed as you rise up to seated. You can keep your eyes shut. And all the way back, whatever seated position is comfortable for you. Once the shoulders are over the hips, you can bring the crown of the head high. Open your eyes, take in the colors around you. Inhale the fingertips up. Exhale, draw the palms together, your thumbs to your third eye, and hinge forward. Last final pose to seal in the benefits of our practice. Namaste. If you like this practice, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. It really does help me to continue making these videos for you. Have a great day.